AMD Zen architecture brought it to the top of the desktop PC market, but Intel's Alder Lake have now taken the lead on the list of the best gaming CPUs. And not to be outgunned at the CES 2022 AMD teased renders of the upcoming 5nm Zen 4 chips that will come with the Ryzen 7000 branding and the new design that will drop into the new AM5 LGA socket. In addition, AMD demoed a Ryzen 7000 Raphael chip running Halo Infinite with all cores surpassing 5 GHz during the benchmark. AMD says that the Ryzen 7000 will arrive in the second half of the 2022 and that they will fire back at Alder Lake this spring with this Ryzen 7 5800X3D processor. This new chip features AMD's new 3D V cache tech that packs a whopping 96 MB of L3 cache onto a single processor via a 3D stack SRAM, which AMD says will boost gaming by an average of 15% across the selective range of games at 1080p. AMD says that the 5800X3D will be the fastest chip in the world and it provided its own benchmark results against Intel flagship Core i9-12900K. AMD has also announced its Ryzen 6000 Rembrandt Sins mobile chips with a Zen 3 Plus CPU architecture, RDNA 2 graphics and the 6 nanometer process. The Ryzen 7 5800X3D is the first AMD chip that will come to the consumer market with its 3D V cache technology. Though AMD already uses this tech on its Milan X processors for the data center. As a quick refresher, 3D V cache leverages a novel new technique that uses hybrid bonding to fuse an additional 64 megabyte of 7 nanometer SRAM cache atop of a Ryzen compute chiplet. This way tripling the amount of L3 cache per Ryzen die. As AMD CEO Lisa Su demoed at Computex last year, 3DV cache can enable up to 192MB of L3 cache on a single consumer chip. However, the 192MB of L3 only applies to Ryzen models with two dies. And AMD's new Ryzen 7 5800X 3D only has a single die. That means it comes with a 64MB of cache stacked atop of 32MB of cache already present on the chip thus yielding 96 MB of L3 cache. It remains unclear if AMD will bring another X3D model based on the higher-end Ryzen 9 5900X or 5950X to the market in the future. The Ryzen 7 5800X3D comes with the same 8 Zen 3 cores and 16 threads as the standard Ryzen 7 5800X, but it has a lower 3.4 GHz base and the 4.5 GHz boost frequency. That means AMD has reduced the base clock by 400 MHz and trimmed 200 MHz of the boost frequency. The chip will drop into existing 400 and 500 series motherboards, offering a hassle-free update path for AMD users as they wait for the Zen 4. AMD hasn't announced any pricing yet. The 5800X3D's lower clock speeds are an inevitable trade-off. AMD stacks the additional SRAM directly in the center of the compute die to isolate it from the heat generating cores on the sides of the chiplet. However, due to the need of a uniform mating surface with the integrated heat spreader, AMD has to use the silicone shims on the top of the cores to provide an even surface for the top of the chiplet. Silicone is an excellent thermal conductor, but it will inevitably trap at least some heat thus resulting in less thermal headroom. It also consumes more power. That's likely the source of a slightly lower clock speed, but as you can see below, the net result is a big win for gaming performance. AMD stacked SRAM delivered 2 TB per second of throughput between the two dies and the minimal latency impact. Along with additional cache capacity that's kept closer to the cores, it leads to the types of performance gains that would be expected from the job to a new chip architecture. AMD measured an average of 15% more performance against the company fastest gaming chip, the Ryzen 9 5900X and claims the Ryzen 9 5800XD is now the fastest gaming chip in the world. Most of these games are sensitive to memory latency, so keeping data close to the executive cores yields big wins. However, the impact of the additional cache remains to be seen in games that aren't as sensitive to latency. Flipping over to the AMD's gaming benchmarks against the Core i9-12900K brings less leads for the 5800XD. The three of the titles end up in a tie. However, we see a 20% advantage in Final Fantasy XIV and a 10% advantage in the Shadow of Tomb Raider 
and Far Cry 6. Overall that works out to be about 7% gain over the 6 titles. This is a relatively limited selection of off game titles that tend to be sensitive to memory latency, meaning they play well to the 5800XD's strengths. The Epic Milan X chips profit in data center workloads from the increased cache, but it's unclear how the 5800X3D will respond in typical desktop PC applications. The Ryzen 7 5800XD represents AMD's attempt at taking back the gaming crown from Intel, but pricing will be tricky. If the Ryzen 7 5800XD outperforms the 12900K in a broader range of games, it will command a much higher price tag than the $390 Ryzen 7 5800X. However, given it has a fewer cores than the Core i9-12900K and it resides on the AM4 platform with older connectivity tech, it won't be able to command a similar $590 price tag. It will be interesting to see pricing, especially given the fact that this type of packaging tech inevitably add cost and if AMD plans to bring more X3D models to the market. AMD also announced that the 5nm Zen 4 Raphael chips would come to desktop PCs in the second half of 2022. These chips will fall into the Ryzen 7000 family and come with a completely redesigned integrated heat spreader with cutouts along the periphery to accommodate the unique capacitor SMD layout spread around the PCB. The Raphael processor will drop into a new AM5 socket that supports both the PCIe 5.0 and DDR5 interfaces matching Elder Lake on the connectivity front. This new socket marks the big departure for AMD. The company is moving from its long-lived pin grid array AM4 sockets to a LAN grid array AM5 layout. Despite their entirely different LGA1718 socket interface, the AM5 socket will still support AM4 coolers, which is a really big bonus for those who want to switch to the AM5 without having to buy a new cooler for it. TSMC says that its N5 process the not AMD will presumably use for Raphael offers a 30% power reduction or 15% performance improvement along with the 1.5x increase in density compared to the 7 nanometer process that AMD currently uses in its Ryzen 5000 chips. AMD also has a 5 nanometer Zen 4 designs destined for the data centers too but plans to use an HPC variant of N5 that has twice the density and performance of the standard N7 node along with the 1.25x the performance. During the keynote, AMD demoed a Zen 4 processor running Halo Infinite in real time and all the cores boosted beyond 5 GHz, meaning the N5 process has some room for higher clocks. AMD is jumping from the Zen 3 powered Ryzen 5000 chips for the desktop PC to Zen 4 Ryzen 7000 models, with no apparent 6000 series for the desktop PCs. That comes because the new Ryzen 6000 processors also announced at the show come with a Zen 3 Plus architecture with a 6 nanometer process. Overall, AMD has a busy year ahead with the rollout of its Ryzen 6000 Rembrandt chips, Ryzen 7 5800X3D and Zen 4 desktop PCs. So hopefully we'll see some cool stuff in the next few months and then in the second half of 2022, so stay tuned. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for new videos and click the notification bell so you don't miss the video. And I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.